identity and permutation matrices. Things to know about the identity matrix. It's normally called I, and it comes in different uh, sizes, uh, but only one shape. And that shape is a square, so it must be square. Must be square. So that means we've got a two by two square, we've got a three by three square, we've got a one by one square, and we've got a four by four square. So they must be square. You notice with the one by one, it is just one, and that's an important thing to note. That's how uh, the identity matrix works. It's just like the number one. And then the other thing is the leading diagonal. is got to be uh, ones. So there's my leading diagonal. And they must always be ones. And then everything else zeros. And we can see that uh, on these, everything else is zero. And those are the main things to note about it but the identity matrix acts like the number one. Okay, so the identity matrix acts like the number one. So if you think about five times one equals five, and one times five equals five, well, that's the same thing as a times i equals a, or i times a equals a. So we're just gonna look at doing uh, i times a. Now your i will adjust, it could be a three by three or a four by four, whatever you need to make sure that it actually um, can be multiplied. Uh, let's just remind ourselves of this nice and slowly. So here's my i, and here's my a. Now this is a 2 by 2, and this is also a 2 by 2. And I'm just going to draw my nose, I said with my smiley face, and I tick, that is defined. And then my two eyes joined by a smiley face tells me that the answer is going to be a two by two solution. So I know my solution is going to be a two by two. All right, now remember rows by columns. So we're going to do first row, first column, and that would get us one times two plus zero times neg three. Okay. And then if we do uh, first row, second column, we'll have one times zero plus uh, zero times seven. And then we do the same thing again. So second row, first column, that's the bottom left element. So that's uh, zero times two plus one times negative three. And if we do second row, second column, we can do 0 times 0 plus 1 times 7. And it's not hard to do the, the maths here that we end up with uh, 2, 0, negative 3, 7 as our final answer. You could plug it on the calculator, but that's just proof that multiplying by the identity matrix uh, gets you um, nowhere. All right, we just met I. Now let's meet P, and you'll notice there's some similarities between them. So I is a special case of P. So I is a special kind of P, all right? So if you look at these things, we'll notice that every row only has one one, and that's true of the identity matrix because identity matrix is also a P. So every row has one, one. And if you're paying attention, you might see where this is going. We can also say the same thing about the columns. Every column only has one, one. So every column has one, one. And I'll do some questions in a minute and you'll see that that actually does help you a lot. But what, what is this doing? This just rearranges matrices. So when you multiply by P, it will change order. So it changes order 
but not values. Note they often like to do these questions with letters, not numbers. Uh, so we'll see those in some questions in a minute. This is from 2017 exam one, and they want to find us a permutation matrix so that our fears are turned into safer. Uh, they love to do the jokes with these things. Um, now, the first thing we need to know is that uh, A and D are not permutation matrices because they have more than one one in each uh, row or column. Now, let me just do this slowly and it'll start to make a bit more sense uh, if you watch the whole thing through. So we know it's going to be a five by five and we're multiplying fears, hopefully not multiplying fears, uh, and the answer should be safer. And as I said, a permutation matrix just uh, rearranges the letters. It doesn't actually change what the letters are. Now, we want S to be first, all right? So the first letter we want is S, and that's the last letter here. So if we're going to multiply this, we want to uh, do row by column, remember? So our first row is going to be, I don't want the S, uh, F, I don't want the E, I don't want the uh, A, I don't want the R, I want the S. So if you think about this, when we're multiplying uh, the row by the column, we've got 0 times F, 0 times E, 0 times A, 0 times R, and 1 times S. And that's why uh, that just leaves us with the S that we want. And we do the same thing for the next letter. The next letter we want is A. Now, A is the third letter. So we want the third one to survive. So 0, 0, 1, the third one, and then 0. And if you think about that, when you multiply this through, uh, row by column, uh, only the A survives, and that's the second letter we want. And so following the same logic, we want the next letter to be F, which is the first letter of fears. So we want the first letter to survive. And then we want the fourth letter to survive. Is that right? Uh, we want, no, we want the second letter. <laughs> 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And then we want the fourth letter, 0, 0, 1, 0. And we can check that everything makes sense there. But already you've probably spotted that B is not correct because the first uh, row is wrong. And if we look at the difference between C and uh, E, we don't get the same ones. We need to have uh, C is the correct answer. And so that's how you turn your fears into safer. So remember, the number here multiplies by here. That tells us that the second letter is going to be uh, the fourth one down, because that's the fourth row, one, two, three, so it tells us the second letter from this word is going to be the fourth letter in the next word. Now this is from the 2016 exam one. And as we said in the last video, if we think about this, if I multiply this by this, it means my first letter is actually the fourth letter. So we know we're going to have P. And that already eliminates A and B. Let's have a look at the next one. So second one, still by that first column, our letter is going to be the third letter. A is going to survive. So the next one is A, um, which eliminates C and E and does, in fact, give us D. Let's just check it all to be nice and pedantic. Let's see. That's the first letter survives, which is L. Then we've got uh, the second letter survives, which is E. And then we've got the last letter S still survives. So we've got S, it is pales. And that's all you have to do. It's uh, just run through a few times to get that straight in your head. And uh, they're not so hard. Avoid the calculator. You can do them on the calculator. Why? Now, this is a classic case of TMI, which is too much information. So it's trying to freak you out, but it says, uh, 
matrix P is a 4x4 permutation matrix. That's the only information you need to actually answer this question because uh, that's not a permutation matrix, that's not a permutation matrix, that's not a permutation matrix, that's not a permutation matrix because they must have one one in every row or column. So the answer is B. That's how quick it is to do that one. And you can imagine people freaked out with omni words. But let's just go in a little bit more detail. It does say that the first and third rows are swapped. So if you imagine you've got uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, that's I. If we swap the first and third rows, which are this one and this one, we do in fact get B. And that's if you want to swap the first and third rows when you multiply, swap the first and third rows. Uh, make sure you, that's when you do uh, P times W. That's important to note. If it was WP, no. Uh, now, I haven't done powers of matrices before, but if we have the power uh, of permutation matrix over here, which I've done here, it's a power one. Well, that's itself, isn't it? Now, I can then put into my calculator P squared, and I get this. Not so exciting so far. But when I do P cubed, it actually equals I. I have a look what's happened over here. P cubed equals I. So it will always happen that way. Uh, any permutation matrix will eventually, to some power, become I. So sometimes I might ask a question, uh, what power do I need to uh, take this permutation matrix and make it I? Just try it out in your calculator until you get the answer in this case, which was 3P cubed equals I. So the power of P that we need to make it I is 3.